Hello everyone, it's Rachel here. Welcome to another awesome crafty live stream here at Makers and Learn. Joe is with us today. Hey Joe. Hello. He's here. He is he hasn't been here in a while. I have not. It's been a it's been a hot minute. He's been a very busy bee. I have been replaced by Becca. Yes, yeah. Joseph has been replaced by Becca. She stole my job. Yeah, she just stole his job. Which, except on Fridays. Um so Joseph is here today yeah. for us. So which that's is fine. Great. She's burned my name anyway. Oh, that don't you say that, Joe. Listen, we're we're all great here. But guys, let me know where you're visiting from. We are going live a little bit early today, and I'm gonna throw Joe under the bus again. He's got work to do, so we can't go live at normal time, or there wouldn't be a live today, or it would be me trying to do it by myself. And you guys do not deserve that. So we're going live a little earlier today. I hope that that is totally fine. Uh, and we're gonna make these adorable little print and cut stickers today with some of our adorable hedgehogs that we have released yesterday. We had some trucks, some hedgehogs, and then some miscellaneous things in an awesome collection release yesterday. And it was all amazing. So today, we're going to be making an awesome mug that we're going to put a little print and cut hedgehog on. Then we're also going to use some awesome glitter here with some Mod Podge and glitter around the bottom of it. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Let me know if you guys are excited. Um, so yeah, I'll go over a couple supplies and I'll keep my eye on the comments and Joseph will of course be letting me know if we have any questions. But the big thing about today is today's the last day to take advantage of the sale using the coupon code BEST at checkout. The yearly membership is $40 off today and today is the last day for that. So that is amazing. Go get your yearly membership for $40 off today. It is an amazing, amazing membership. We have over, I want to say 16, 1700 cut files. We have over 250 fonts, free commercial licensing, awesome online e-courses, free printable guides, members only Facebook group, and so, so much more. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. But we're gonna go over supplies a little bit and then we'll dive into design space and see what we've got cooking over there with our adorable little print and cut stickers. So first thing about the print and cut stickers, you are gonna need some printable vinyl. We like to use Cricut's brand, so that's what we're using today in our inkjet printer. We love our Canon TS8120. So that is a printer that we have chosen today that we have actually went ahead and printed two sheets out because sometimes our printer is a little bit finicky and I just wanted to make sure I had one printed out live just in case um, so we will also need Mod Podge I personally am using two different types on this project you can use one top and it'd be totally fine but to adhere the glitter I'm using regular matte Mod Podge and then after the glitter dries I'm gonna be sealing the entire thing with dishwasher safe Mod Podge so that is really cool uh, along with that glitter I mentioned we're also going to be using a poster board to catch that glitter so we can put it back in our little um, container here. And about this glitter, guys, this is StarCraft glitter, okay? They have amazing colors, amazing different thicknesses. There's fine, there's chunky, there's uh, metallic, there's neon. There's a ton over there. And I actually have the link in the description below for this glitter right here. This is called Bali Pink. And I honestly wanna say there's like over a hundred colors. I think there is a crap ton of colors. And I think I see a question here. I renewed my membership during the sale, but I was charged <coughs> again on my anniversary. How can I get the refund? So that is actually how that's going to work. So you, as far as I know, you're going to go ahead and you're going to renew your membership and then you will be charged on your anniversary, but it should be um, after, the, after that for the discounted price. So it's kind of like if you are an existing yearly member and you go ahead and you uh, opt in and you use that 40% off coupon, it will uh, overlap for your other one. So on your anniversary, it will charge you and then it'll start tacking on that discount uh, throughout the rest of the year. So it's just kind of like a little add on there, which is great. And then, but, and then Anita says, do you get the fonts on a monthly membership? Okay. That's a good question, Joe. I'm glad you asked it. Unfortunately, no, you do not get the fonts with a monthly or six month membership. That is one of our amazing yearly member only perks. And that is because what's different between our six month and monthly members and our yearly is that our yearly members pay all of the sum of the membership all at once in one lump sum. Instead of paying it monthly, you do pay it all at once. But with our yearly members, you are getting the best value. So our yearly members pay the least amount of money and they get all of our resources. So a lot of things that are different in the memberships, in the yearly tier, you get the fonts that we were talking about. And fonts are my favorite. I love working with fonts. You also get those three free e-courses. Uh, one of them is how to, um, 
master your machine. The second one is how to master design space. And the third one is how to build a business through die cutting. And all those are free with that yearly membership. You get lifetime access to those. And what goes along with those other two perks of yearly membership is the amazing free commercial license. And that is the biggest game changer of a lot of die cutting machine um, memberships out there is because not a lot of them have commercial use licensing. They have personal use licensing. But with commercial use licensing, you guys can actually go on Etsy, go on Facebook yard sale, set up at shops around your town, go to craft fairs and sell the projects you make using any and all of our cut files and fonts. It is an amazing value and it will completely pay for itself if that's what you guys want to do. So that is, um, I was charged. M Mel Matthew, definitely just email customer service and tell them what's going on and we will definitely help you, um, help you with that. Uh, this isn't the best place to ask customer service related questions as we're here to get crafty and educate you all on the membership. But all those of you who are having issues, definitely email our customer service, hi at makersgonnalearn.com and we'll get right back to you. But ask any questions you have about the membership if you guys uh, wanna know anything. Uh, I'm, I'm here to offer that to you guys. But it is 40%, not 40%, it's $40 off today. So, and that is just with the yearly membership. So definitely use that code BEST, B-E-S-T, at checkout and get 40 bucks off because it's an amazing value and that goes away today. So definitely do that. But anyways, the next thing we're gonna use here, along with our Mod Podge, I actually have a, a normal brush and then I have a Mod Podge brush. So this Mod Podge brush is special, okay? This guy is super soft, super light, and the shape is actually uh, there for a reason too. It minimizes like streak lines in your Mod Podge. So we're gonna be using this to seal our mug because I don't really wanna see a bunch of those sealer marks, like brush strokes, if you will. So this guy really does a great job at minimizing those or fully eliminating them uh, depending on the size of your project and things like that. Uh, so definitely grab you, yourself one of these or maybe you could find a cheap one maybe on Amazon but I don't think he was that expensive and of course you can use him over and over. Uh, we're also I've got some gloves to use this fine glitter because I'll find it for weeks if I don't on my hands and then we have some masking tape because I'm going to give you guys a great tip on maybe using some masking tape to tape off uh, your glitter where you want your glitter. That's another great option. And of course, since we're using any type of vinyl, we've got our alcohol pump bottle and a little um, paper towel here. And of course, our little mug. And this is just a mainstays mug. So this is a very cheap mug from Walmart. What I do want to say is you want to kind of try and keep your mug, uh, I don't, not flat. Um, what would you say, Joe? Like straight, you want a good long mug something sure. like that you want a good long mug you sure. don't want it to curve too much because we're adding a sticker on there and we don't want to get a bunch of bubbles a bunch of creases in our sticker so we want that to stay long do we also get the book with the yearly anita if you're talking about our amazing Cricut printable guide, the answer is yes. This is not a yearly member only perk. This is a perk for any membership tier, as is our cut files and the members only Facebook group and all of our printable guides like this. So of course our monthly and six month uh, members have fun too. Maybe just not as much fun as our yearly. But this is an amazing value here. It's got everything you need to know. It's got easy press settings, uh, temperature charts, like I said. It has a lot of blade settings, what mat to use. It's got cheat sheets for a bunch of things. This is great when you are a beginner. So if there's any beginners out there that just got their Cricut over the holiday season, you guys would absolutely love the membership. It is catered to those of you who just want to know, want to learn, and want to you know get the most out of your diet cutting machine because this is an investment for sure and if you invest in us then we invest in you so that is why we love to give members perks like this that's a great question though um yeah so other than that just make sure you got a good flat mug there and bonus really has a, bonus has a mug that's not tapered a mug that's not tapered that's a great way to put it that's a great way to put it that is a perfect word tapered you want a good flat mug not tapered thank you so much bonnie that's perfect uh for that sticker and some of you might not think about that and you might grab you a cute little mug and some round mugs might be cuter but the sticker won't lay on there right and then your sealer will go on a little weird with the little bumps and and bubbles in there so we're just going to be better safe than sorry there but right. cheryl says where do we find the brother scan and cut book we saw tanner having last month 
that will be also in your dashboard. So if you're a member, go ahead to the Maker Journal website, go to your dashboard, and then under my account in uh, community right there, not community, what is it? Member resources, that's it. And member resources right over to the right of the screen, it will have all those. It'll have the PDF for the fonts and the cut files. It'll have your printable guides. It'll have everything right there for you. So that's where you can go and print that out. That's a great question though. Um, please tell me it has help with print and cut. It doesn't need it. It has a little cheat sheet for uh, vinyl, iron on, and print and cut. And print and cut is amazing. We absolutely love working with it. Whether you're working with cardstock, with vinyl, with um, printable HTV, anything like that, it's amazing. But today we're working with Cricut printable vinyl. So that's really all we need as far as um, supplies go. We do have this little ball of paint, but this is just to keep our mug standing up straight so we can apply our little hedgehog on there straight. So I guess now is better than any other time to just whip into design space and show you guys what we've got cooking over there. So we'll go ahead over there. I'll get my, get my little keyboard going here and Thank you, Joe, for my mouse. Okay. Here's our little hedgehog. So he is absolutely adorable. And we found him on Makers Gonna Learn. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, some of the cut files that we got yesterday that were so stinking cute. So you can do this several ways. You can say, take me there to the newest collection, or you can go up here to the categories and click the new category. Either way, it'll take you right where you need to go. And you can see here are a bunch of our uh, new cut files. And look at our little hedgehogs. We have Halloween hedgehogs. We have shamrock hedgehogs. We have uh, our little palm hedgehog that we're using today. Flowers, some for fall with leaves, a beach hedgehog. I mean, we just have hedgehogs for all kinds of occasions, which is adorable. Um, let me see there. Cheryl, definitely email customer service if you're having any problems and let uh, let them know and they will be able to help you out uh, with whatever you need to know, dear. Uh, uh, Randy says if you buy the membership, when do we pay for it? Is it, on, is it upon the when you get it or is it on our anniversary date? Okay, that's, so that's a great question. So Randy, you will pay for it. Let me go ahead and show you guys. So here is our amazing membership and here is where you guys can see all this. It does say the sale has ended, but it has not. Don't, don't worry guys. Um, this is where you can go guys. So you can see that our yearly members get over 250 fonts, that commercial license and those e-courses. And if you wanted to purchase that, you're just gonna go ahead and click. And you're gonna go down here and you're gonna apply the coupon. Make sure you apply that coupon to get that $40 off best. And then right here, uh, Randy, you will see the product price, the discount applied, the total price right here. And then this is what you will be charged for right when you sign up. And then after that, Randy, it's magical. You will not have to pay for anything um, until 365 days after you pay. So you'll pay once the day of, have immediate access to all these amazing cut files and fonts, and then you will be able to get crafty and not even have to worry about it, don't have to budget monthly for it or anything like that. You just get to crafting. So you'll get files every month. We have so many files coming out. We have like three different file collections. We have a font collection. We have so much stuff happening um, every month. We have full project tutorials. Um, one question was do all members get access to the printable guide yes everyone gets access to the free printable guide which is amazing and that is a, just one of the many perks of membership and here you can see all the breakdowns of these amazing um products because I am a very visual learner so I love to see what I'm getting. So here you can see those awesome e-courses to teach you how to master your machine, the software, and building a business. Those are free with the yearly membership. And here is my favorite visual showing of these tiers. You can see the monthly membership is $19.99 a month. The six month membership is $17.99 a month. And broken down to monthly, the yearly membership is only $15.99 a month. And that is before the $40 off, guys. With the $40 off, it brings it down to a little over $12 a month. That is it. And guys, if you want me to break that down even more, that's only like 40 something cents a day. I don't know the exact amount. I'm not that good at math. I just know that it's 40 something cents a day to get crafty, to get, um, to get to know everything you need to know about your machine, which is amazing. So definitely, definitely get that. And that sale ends today. So it's definitely like a now or never type of thing. That's only like one eighth a cup of coffee or something every day. One, oh my gosh, Joe. That's a good way to put it. Like one one eighth of a cup of coffee. Every, every Do cup. you guys want a cup of coffee or you want to just craft your little butts you, off? One eighth a cup of coffee. What, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. 
Do you want like a sip of coffee? <laughs> is that good? Like a sip? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, guys, this is a PNG, but this one, they have created these hedgehogs super, super easily. Um, Joe, are we on the mouse one or no mouse? You are. I'm on the mouse mm -hmm. one? Okay, then I'm gonna show you guys. So if you go here, I'm gonna pick my little palm hedgehog here. Actually, I wanna pick another hedgehog. Let's pick the Halloween one, that's gonna be cute. So we're just gonna download this um, cut file here. We're gonna tap our zip folder. It's gonna open us up. Joe, if you'll just drag that to my screen for me, I'll let you take my, thank you. So here is our little Halloween hedgehog right where we need him and I don't know where to put him now. Where should I stick him, Joe? <laughs> you know what, I'm just gonna hold that right there. We're gonna go to Design Space. I'm gonna click Upload and I'm gonna click Upload Image. There he is. Okay, now I'm gonna drag him in. Perfect. Now, I just wanted to show you guys how awesome this was. So, we're just gonna click complex here and it already has uh, made it right to where there's like a little white outline. Cause in our other ones, okay, they weren't perfected. So we had to go in there and uh, like select complex. And then when we hit continue, uh, we would go right in here and have to uh, spend so much time going around this little fella and making sure that uh, it wouldn't contour anything out. But they have already went in our awesome designers and put in that little white border so we don't have to do any work, guys. All we have to do is import it and then let it go. And this guy is just so stinking cute. So all you do is save him as a print and cut image. You don't really want him as a cut image. Then you take him and just insert him right where you want to. And he's gigantic for some reason. <laughs> make him six inches but guys look how stinking cute this is look at this he's he's wearing a he's wearing a witch hat like it doesn't get any cuter than this it it's doesn't a, it's adorable mm -hmm. and we have these for all different occasions guys so the one that we're using today is our little palm hedgehog and he's going to be super cute on our mug now an important thing to do is to measure your mug measure twice cut once is our rule and about the biggest we could do this guy is three inches wide but we didn't want to uh, make him look too distorted by like wrapping him around the mug too much. So we took him down and made him 2.75. So just make sure you've sized him correctly uh, just to fit your mug perfectly. And now all you're gonna do is you can click make it. And now guys, here's another great tip. You don't want to waste all of this um, vinyl here. So we're just gonna apply this we're gonna go up and apply this eight times and click apply. And this is just like a, a little test that you can do. You can kind of see uh, how many you can fit on one page. And I see Katrina said, so we can use makers images and not worry about copyright. Well, Katrina, if you are a yearly member, it, it's not really copyright because they are our images. Um, and our fonts. However, if you wanted to build that business and start selling the projects you make, you can totally do that. However, you cannot use the cut files, the PNGs, SVGs, or the fonts and sell those by themselves or anything like that. That is that is a completely against the rules. It's against the uh, terms of service. Uh, so please do not do that. Uh, or our little team will have to come after you. <laughs> but you're absolutely welcome to use the cut files and fonts and create projects and sell those. So that is an amazing perk to that yearly membership as well. Okay, so we can fit eight on this little guy, which is great. So we're gonna leave him at eight because we wanna take up a whole page and we're going to click send to printer. Now I've already printed this, so I'm not gonna like waste a ton of time on it, promise. I just wanna give you guys some pointers. So make sure it's connected to your printer and then we are gonna leave bleed on. Now, if you guys are new here, definitely let us know if you have any questions or anything like that. But bleed will just bleed that ink on the edges of our image a little bit so that when the Cricut is cutting around this, if he's not 100% precise and he cuts off a millimeter or two, um, then the, you know, the bleed will have anticipated that and it won't look like it's um, cut, you know, incorrectly or something like that. So we're not gonna go ahead and print. We're just gonna click X. And we're gonna go here and click, I've already printed. And why can't I click that? There used to be, oh, never mind. It'll just let me keep going then. Uh, yeah, it's cause I already have printed. You can just select, usually right around here, it'll say I've already printed, but I guess it just knows I have. So we're gonna go up here to browse all materials and type in printable. And way down here at the bottom, and I'm actually gonna favorite this too. I love this little favorite feature here. You can click printable vinyl. Have I missed any questions, Joe? I don't believe so. Okay, I didn't think yeah. so. 
Okay. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so now that we have that, Joe, I'm done with the computer. I'm going to turn my little guy off there and you can give me the overhead camera and I'm just going to load my, and wow, that's far away. Let's get in here a little bit. Now, here is our little guys already printed. I think they're so stinking cute. And here's our mat. And then here are the ones that we have already cut. So our blade just happens to be a hair fresh. So it has cut our little guys relentlessly. Like they're just all cut out. They're all just stickers. So we're going to use less pressure. I forgot to do that, Joe, if you want to change that for me. Um, we're just going to stick this on here. Now you don't have to stick it on here perfect because the Cricut is so smart with these registration marks. It will go in here and it will sense and scan these little marks and know right where to cut. So if I accidentally put him on Cricut, it's not like it would ruin our cut or anything like that. So now that I've got him on our mat, I'm just going to switch him to our machine over here. I'm going to slide him in between his little grooves here and load him in. And once that flashing Cricut button starts flashing for us, all we have to do is click it and we can watch him. And he's just gonna sense and then cut for us and it's gonna be pretty cute. See Joe, told ya. Worked great for me. It, it doesn't work for me. The <laughs> camera does not work for me, unfortunately. No, it's, it's, it's you, it's you. I think it is me, I think it is me. So guys, let me know where you're visiting from. I wanna see a show of hands, who got a Cricut over Christmas, who got a die cutting machine over Christmas, are there any newbies in the house? Let me know. I would love to talk to you guys and just answer questions because that's what these lives are great for is just answering questions. So it already um, sensed it and now it's detecting our tool here and then it's just going to cut all these out and it won't take much time at all which is great. I just can't believe how deep this other one cut. It's probably going to cut the same, but that's what happens with a fresh blade, guys, with stuff like this. Usually with a fresh blade, it's good to cut like heavy cardstock or something like that for a couple times. Uh, just to get that blade, I guess, a little bit worn down, but <coughs> hey, that's fine. It'd rather be too sharp and cut than not cut it at all. Be See, Joe, I, I would argue that stay as positive. well. Yeah, yeah. I, stay positive. Stay <laughs> positive. Story of my life, Joe. <laughs> stay positive. <laughs> These little guys are so cute though. And you can make these bigger if you want to. You can put them on a colored mug. Um, uh, you can make a mug for every holiday because we certainly have a hedgehog for every holiday, which is adorable. So you could do that if you wanted to. That's cute. But ask any questions if you guys have. It is very laggy on this camera, Stephanie. This camera <laughs> never works for me and Joseph thinks it does. It doesn't work for me, unfortunately. It's always work when I'm here. It's just Rachel. It's just when I'm here, guys. I repel technology, literally. It, so it, it just hurts. bear with us. We're just watching him cut. Yeah. God love him. Oh, Adeline says, I got the 10 by 12 easy clip for Christmas. Oh, that's amazing. Congratulations. You will absolutely adore your easy press. And then Trudy says, I got a maker for Christmas. Oh, you did? Good. Good. See? Newbie, Rebecca I got the maker. Rebecca says, I got a maker and an easy press during the holidays. Dang, Santa was good to you. Listen, congratulations to everybody who got new machines and new little uh, fun toys. It's going to be amazing for you guys to uh, learn all these and start getting crafty with them. I'm super excited that you guys have taken the time out of your days to join us here to maybe learn a little something. Um, so yeah, so this is cut out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to flip my mat over. I always like to remove my mat from my material and not the other way around. And yep, he cut out just as bad, but that's okay. So here's how we cut guys. Woo, that is cut for sure. So we're just going to lay this over here with our other one. And now we're going to prep our little mug here. So I'm actually going to do this backwards because it is a live stream. I would normally do my glitter first, let the glitter dry and everything like that, then seal the glitter a little bit and then do my hedgehog. But since this is live, I'm going to be doing my hedgehog sticker. Now I'm going to be doing my glitter and then I'm not going to be able to show you guys how we seal it uh, because that glitter will not have dried in time. But I'll give you guys a ton of pointers for that. So the first pointer uh, is you need to know how you sip your coffee, how you lock your tea, uh, if you're left-handed or right-handed. So I'm a righty, so I always hold my mugs like this, which means I'm gonna want my hedgehog over here, which is a great little thing to know, which means I'm gonna want my hedgehog this way. So I'm gonna put my mug on this side and lay my little uh, my little uh, paint bottle here. It's perfect, the perfect size to just keep him up straight. Now I'm gonna get our little alcohol pump bottle. This guy is adorable. 
I'm gonna just wipe him down. And the reason why we're doing this is if there's any newbies out there, they're like, what are you doing? So alcohol uh, helps to clean off the surfaces that we're gonna apply vinyl to. It is an absolute must and makers gonna learn uh, to add alcohol to these. It removes any dirt, oil from your fingers, any residue, anything like that from your mug to just really give you more success with your projects. And that's definitely what we want. So I'm gonna bring this camera in to show you guys a little more. And I'm just gonna peel one of these off like a sticker. I'm not gonna go through all the steps of like uh, weeding it and everything, especially just since we're using like one today. So here's our little hedgehog. He's super stinking cute. And I wanna make sure that I'm gonna put this in the correct spot. No pressure, of course, yeah. So you wanna put him a little up high because we are gonna be glittering the bottom. So make sure he's straight, make sure he's where you want him to be. Start in the middle. Uh, Katrina says, do you have a place on your website where I can share products I make? I love to show up my projects. Yes. So, Katrina, that is a great question. We actually have a whole members-only Facebook group dedicated to over er, over 4,000 crafting members, and they're all on there. And it's like one big family, guys. It is an amazing community over there. It's such a blessing to be a part of, and everyone's so nice. They post all their projects. They post their fails uh, and get advice on them post their favorite products, they post when uh, our favorite places are having sales to just give a little PSA for everybody. Um, and everybody, I mean, we all pray for each other when we're going through hard times and things like that. And it's it, it's just an amazing community over there. And you guys, our members are what make it amazing. So yes, absolutely. We love our Facebook group and that's how we show off all of our projects and things like that. And of course, Tanner is so generous. Sometimes he'll go to the Facebook group, uh, the members only Facebook group and give little freebies. Like sometimes he'll give, uh, he'll load up a Starbucks gift card and say, okay guys, Starbucks on me. And then you guys can go and get you a little cake pop or get a little Starbucks drink for the days. And it, it's just, it's such a good community over there. So are you guys going to steal the print and cut with something? Madeline, it's good to see you. I don't think I've seen you on here in a while. Hello, dear. Uh, we are. So we have our dishwasher safe Mod Podge here that you guys know that we love. So after we glitter the bottom and everything like that, we will, when it dries, uh, seal the entire mug with dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Um, and that way it will be uh, dishwasher safe for you guys. So we are going to seal that, but you don't have to, but we're going to. So speaking of sealing it, we're actually going to start on our glitter now. So I'm going to get our little poster board in here because we don't want this glitter getting all over the place. So we have our Mod Podge, our mug, our brush here. Bring the camera out just a bit to show you guys what's happening. And now this is when you guys can use this masking tape if you want to. I'm not going to today, uh, but you guys can tape off your mug if you want to. But I'm just going to eyeball it and bring that uh, glitter all around there and uh, hopefully make it a little bit straight. So I'm gonna glove up here because this this glitter is gonna get everywhere. So, don't you love glitter? Don't I? No, I don't. <laughs> I like glitter when the projects are finished. Like I would right, buy yeah. a lot of glitter projects, but as far as being the one making the glitter projects, I mean, I enjoy it, but it's, you're, you're, it's so messy. You'll be picking up glitter for the next month. I will. That's why I have on gloves. Yeah. I'm trying to uh, prepare for that. But this is this glitter, guys. It is an amazing glitter. And guys, this will last forever. This is a beautiful fine glitter. So um, definitely know that you guys will have this for quite some time. And like I said, there is so many colors. I mean, and, I mean look at that color. Like it. It's gorgeous. It might not focus on me, but that it's a beautiful color. So that's the color that we're gonna be using today for our glitter. I literally had a hundred to choose from, so I, I don't know, I just chose her a little pink here and I already have glitter all over me. We're just gonna go with it, guys. Uh, is the Mod Podge too safe? Been trying to research that for projects. So this is a question we do get often, um, whether something is food safe or not. So here's the problem. The FDA is super, super picky, which I'm glad. You know, good for the FDA. I'm glad it's picky. And we're just going to start going on the bottom here with this, by the way. But a lot of things craft related are not uh, food safe, but they are also non-toxic. So non-toxic and food safe are two very different things. They sound the same. They do the same things, but you want something that's food safe and you're just not going to find a ton of it in the crafting world just because... Um, a lot of things that are, you know, made with craft, like epoxies and things like that, are not going to say, oh, this is totally food safe. But in reality, it's non-toxic, which 
which it's not going to kill you, you know, like it's totally fine. So really it's just like, if you want to use it, you can totally use it. Uh, this dishwasher safe Mod Podge is non-toxic. It will not hurt you. It will not uh, damage your organs or something. If you think that uh, sipping from this mug with a little bit of this around the rim will hurt you, it won't. Uh, but feel free, I mean, make your own choices, guys. Absolutely, better safe than sorry if that's your motto in life, you know? Totally fine. But uh, for sealing this project today, I'm gonna be using um, Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge. Wow, we're in a big rabbit hole with that. But still, I've been researching that as well, though. And that's one of the reasons is because I've been wanting to try and find something myself like that. But the reality is FDA is not gonna approve things, um, things like that uh, for for the use that we want them, which is unfortunate. And yes, Tracy, the link for the glitter is in the description below. It'll say, buy this glitter. And yes, yes, guys, this is glitter from 651. Well, it's Starcraft, but you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna use today. We're gonna use this little sprinkler so you guys can see the color. I'm gonna come in a little closer so you guys can see all the color. Hopefully I got some glitter on the camera too. Oh, look at that. It's Beautiful. so fine. We're just gonna sprinkle, sprinkle. Make sure you have something underneath it to catch all this sprinkle. This is beautiful. My goodness, it's so pretty. Okay, it's so pretty. Look how pretty. Okay, just keep sprinkling. Just keep sprinkling. Look at that, oh my gosh. And guys, don't even worry about like this around here because we can take a brush um, I don't want to use this brush and I didn't bring another brush, which is just dandy, but you can get another brush and just like brush off this excess here and it'll just come right off. Okay. So just let that dry, but it's not like that is going to be stuck on your mug. Any of this excess, it's just kind of stuck on your mug, but it's not going to stay there uh, after you wipe it off. So isn't that cute guys? That is so stinking adorable. That color's gorgeous. I'm trying to get most of this off. So cute and don't like don't blow on it either because since it's still a little bit um, wet You don't want to start messing up Your glitter and start taking off all your pretty glitter, but this is gorgeous guys Look how pretty add a little more up here. See if it'll stick This is so pretty and you guys feel free to add more Mod Podge if you want to you can add whatever you want to make this as glittery or as not glittery as you want that's just beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna set our little mug aside here. And now I'm gonna open up our glitter. Wow, what a mess. Opening this up. I'm gonna remove everything off the table just so it's not in our way or anything like that. And this is how we're gonna add our glitter back. So here's our glitter. We're gonna fold this guy up just like that. What is that? That is not glitter. We don't want that in there. Now fold this up, then you can see that glitter fall right into place there. And it saves a ton of that glitter. Maybe not saves all of it, but you know what? It saves plenty enough for me. So that's how you save all your glitter there. Save that glitter. I'm going to take my gloves off and I'm going to set my glitter aside. I hope it's safe now. Hope I don't get glitter all over my hands. And I am going to grab a paintbrush though because I really want to show them how to do that. So I'll be, give me two seconds, two seconds. I grabbed the first one I saw. <laughs> run, Richard, run. Run, Richard, run. Okay. Here's our mug back. I want to be very careful. I'm going to stick my hand inside the mug, actually. And now I'm just going to whisk all this away. See this here? Just whisking this away. Getting this out of the way here. So, so cute. I love this. And once this dries, guys, uh, is when you're going to want to seal it, okay? Oh, look, I nicked. I made a little nick mark there. Oh. Darn it. I must have nicked it with one of my gloved fingers because I didn't feel it, of course. How cute. So just keep going, you know, around it with, just with a brush and knock all that little extra glitter off. But that glitter is gorgeous. It's beautiful. I love this color, too. And like I said, this is like one of those metallic colors, but there's like a hundred colors to choose from. So definitely go click that link and uh, get some of this glitter. I think it's like seven bucks for this ginormous thing of glitter that's gonna last you for it. Like you're gonna lose it before you use <laughs> right it all. Of, that's, yeah. yeah, you're gonna lose it beforehand. So here's kind of how our mug is looking. I think it's so cute. If you wanted to use painter's tape to get a cleaner edge, 
you can totally do that you know whatever you want to do but I think this is so cute how long till it dries Tracy says um I would just let this like base coat dry for a couple of hours I don't think I would let it go a full 24 before I sealed it uh just because that's just kind of not necessary so we just uh added our glitter down here and now I'm gonna wipe off the table a little bit, trying to get some of that glitter off that I'm never gonna get rid of. And now guys, we're gonna go ahead and just seal our print and cut just to show you. So here is Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge. We love this guys, it was like 16 bucks for this big old um, container of it but it lasts forever. Of course, we will never have to buy more Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge. And also another thing that people get scared off about this is that it takes so long to cure. So since this is gonna be dishwasher safe, it is going to have to set for a really long time. So the dry time for this, guys, is 28 days. 28 days. So you just go ahead and sit on the shelf in the corner. Exactly. <laughs> just forget about it. Set a reminder on your phone and try and forget about it. In 28 days, the little reminder will go off and you'll be like, oh my gosh, my mug. <laughs> so um, it is uh, a great product to use. We use it on a ton of stuff. This is a great way to seal a ton of projects, not just for putting them in the dishwasher, but for, you know, a lot of different things. Because something that's dishwasher safe is also safe in the elements and things like that, especially with wet and heat and things. So you can seal things you want to step, you know, set outside or things like that. So that's a really great thing to do. But this guy does have a cure time of 28 days, but that is totally fine, okay? Because it's worth the wait. Making this um, actually uh, dishwasher safe, it's definitely worth the wait. And we have an awesome question. What heat press would you recommend? I already have the Cricut ones. So Laura, to be honest, we have used two different heat presses that weren't Cricut brand and we do not like them at all. They are ginormous. They are heavy. They are, uh, well, I already said ginormous, but bulky is I think a better word, especially if you don't have 1400 square foot of crafting space and you're wanting to, you know, make the most of your space. Big heat presses just are not the answer. They're ginormous. Now I will say maybe unless you have a legit business where you only make t-shirts and I say only because the only reason I would keep one of those big ginormous uh, in the way heat presses around is if I was doing nothing but making t-shirts all day because then I could definitely see it being worth the space that it takes up in my craft room. But if you already have a Cricut one and you don't enjoy it to the best of its ability, um, maybe you could try some out. But we do not love heat presses. We only use easy presses and we've only ever needed to. So, I mean, that's just my two cents. I, I would ask Joseph for his opinion, but I don't think he has a lot of... <laughs> A lot of opinions on heat press. I just love the mini personally. Okay, yes. Joseph absolutely <laughs> adores the mini. That's my preference. He well he's adorable. I mean, it doesn't get any cuter than the mini easy press. Now as far as functionality goes, he might be a little bit small. He is small a little stuff. bit small. Not small for shoes or hats or something like no, that. But, but for for other things. T shirts and stuff, he's just a little bit small. He's a little bit small. But you, yeah. you can make do. You can definitely you can make, make do. do. You can make just, do. Just sit down for a little while and watch it show on that see, yeah no. see see so like it just it's kind of like the polar opposite of um having too much craft space if you don't have enough craft space get the mini get the mini Done. yes get the mini because it's teeny tiny and it has the same like it's mini but mighty that's like the slogan for it and it really is mini but mighty you know so you could definitely use the little one the little baby one or uh, we like the nine by nine here i think the 10 by 12 is I think it's too big and it honestly takes so long to preheat and then it, it loses heat so quickly. So like when I pick it up from the cradle and lay it on my project, it's like, oh, already down 20 degrees. And then I feel like it might not heat my project to the best of its ability because the heat plate is just so large that it loses heat so quickly. But that is just my two cents. So we're going to use our dishwasher saving Mod Podge. If I can open the lid. Yep, got it. Got it. And this is good if you guys want to like lay it on a little uh, plate or something like that. But we're just going to pour a little into the lid and then pour it back. Um, but you guys get a plate or something like that for sure. But I'm just going to dip our brush in here. Okay. Just dip a little bit at a time. I and mean, I'm, I'm not using a lot here. And I'm just going to do our hedgehog today because I need to steer very clear of that glitter. Because if I get that glitter up in my hedgehog's business, then... It's not going to be good. Okay, we'll get glitter everywhere. So I'm just going to start in the middle of my little hedgehog here. And work my way to the sides. Be very cautious about not getting 
close to that glitter. Well, I mean, you're gonna have to get close, of course, but don't get like super close. And the key to this dishwasher safe Mod Podge is to do lots of little layers. So right there was a great thin layer. And every layer that you do is just gonna be making uh, more and more seals on your little uh, your little guy here. Uh, so. Katrina says, does anyone know a good sealer for paper project to put outside, like large paper flowers or something? Well, honey, I, this. This is great. I was just preaching about how I love Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge because uh, the, the cure time means that this puppy is gonna withstand a whole lot. So you don't just have to use this with if you wanna dishwash something, you know, like a mug, just like we're doing today. But if you wanna put this on large paper flowers or let's say garland that you want, like if you're making garland that you wanna put on a tree outside for Christmas or something like that, because we decorated an outdoor tree uh, this year, you can put dishwasher safe Mod Podge on it and you know, it'll cure and then it's gonna be rock solid. I mean, you can throw that outside in the elements. If it's meant to go in a dishwasher on sanitizing mode that's, you know, boiling hot and dries and gets super wet, then it's totally gonna be fine sealing something and putting it outside. So I do love dishwasher Mod Podge for that. So I, I don't use it just for that. Um, Joanne said, want to paint on a can on canvas shoes what is the best products so um i think it's deco art has a really good so soft paint if i had any readily available i'd run around and grab some for you guys too but it uh it's like a fabric paint, so it doesn't dry super stiff, and it's perfect for canvas shoes like that. So definitely check that out. Um, I think it's Decor or Americana So Soft, something like that. I think it's Decor brand. But guys, so he's gonna seal for about an hour or two. He's gonna dry for about an hour or two, and then I'd put another coat on him, and then I would put another coat on him, and then once you've got about three coats on your hedgehog, I would say that the bottom of your mug would be pretty. Um, pretty dry by then and you'd be able to very carefully take another paintbrush and seal your bottom and I would seal guys this is a great tip I would seal like top to bottom I would seal it this way not to get any of my um glitter up here because I already sealed that I would seal t up and up to down up to down just like that so yeah so you guys, let me know if you have any questions. I love to answer questions. This is probably the segment of the day where I enjoy answering questions. Josie, if you can switch that camera for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're, we're done with the craft. This was a very short craft today. Um, it was kind of more of uh, diving deep into print and cut and very simple project because it is like I like to say beginner season a uh, cricket beginner season so if you guys are out there and you're cricket beginners and you're wanting to level up your crafting definitely check out makers and learn we are having a sale for $40 off Joseph just dropped the link that's amazing and that is gonna get you in on everything that we have to offer, guys. We hold nothing back from our awesome yearly members and they get everything. So they get all the teaching, all the training, all the uh, fonts, all of the e-courses, they get everything. So it's, it's amazing. Awesome. It's awesome. It's, and of course, there's also little fun things sprinkled out throughout the uh, year that any member can partake in. Like we have amazing, um, summits three times a year in the spring summer and fall those are absolutely amazing we have a lot of uh different e-courses that are not the ones that you get free that you guys can partake in if you want to so if you're a monthly or six monthly member they still have a ton of fun too but our yearly members do have probably the most fun is the membership good for silhouette users stephanie that is an amazing question our membership works amazing with any die cutting machine that uses svg and png cut balls so if if you have a brother scan and cut a silhouette cameo a cricket explore air explorer 2 maker any anything like that any machine and i know there's way more than those but any machine that works with svg and png you guys will have a ton of fun uh using our cut files and fonts because a lot of questions we get are is your membership um does it work with design space and the answer is yes and no our membership works with design space because that is one of the machines that it is compatible with uh so our cut files and fonts will work well on any software that uses svg and png cut files uh we just choose and teach mostly cricket here because that's what we feel like we're pros at that's what we're comfortable with but we do have some awesome things in the works for brother scan and cut and the silhouette cameo four so definitely stay tuned for things like that do you ever have the ink rub off of the printer and cut when you are pressing on it 
huh? Do you ever have the ink rub off the print and cut when you're pressing on it? Yes, absolutely. So that's a great, you know what? That is an amazing little uh, point to make. You do need to let this dry a little bit when it comes out of the um, <clears throat> printer. But I do have to say, Printable HTV is way worse than printable vinyl for this. So these little registration marks as, as well are the worst for me. These black lines here, these will be super wet if I'm using like my new fun printable iron on. And I take it out of the printer and I do it, it'll just, I mean, streak it right up this side. And sometimes I have ruined a project like laying it on the mat and doing this and just rubbing that black all over. It gets on my hands and everything. So yes, that is not just you. It is totally, um, it is totally just, the, the material that you're using. So just let that dry if that does happen to you. Maybe you can like touch a corner and see if it's coming off and know that it needs a little bit more time to dry for sure. Would you recommend doing the glitter first, then seal, then print the cut? Yes, Melissa, you might have uh, came in a little bit late, but since this was a live show, um, I wanted to show you guys the majority of the project that I could, which is why I chose to do my sticker first, then my glitter. But I would absolutely recommend to do your glitter first um, if you guys were making this afterwards. So I would do the glitter first and then seal it a couple of times and then wipe with alcohol where, where you're going to put your little hedgehog but apply him down and seal him that way there is no way you could get um interaction with the glitter with uh your little hedgehog or anything that you're using that is an absolutely great question okay let's see here i see a lot of awesome questions <laughs> my friend asked me does it work offline so design space works offline but our membership is a website so it kind of can't work you gotta have internet to use it so if you want to download files and fonts and things right joe but you can, you can download them and then go offline and use them right yeah yeah you yeah. can download them and then so go offline and download the ones you want and then yeah, that's fine because you can yeah. use Cricut offline uh Cricut design space which is a really cool feature so after you're done um you know, after you're done downloading them, you can absolutely do that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, Kimberly is amazing. She is. She said, OMG, thank you, Facebook group, for saving me last night. You all rock. Love my Make Christian Learn family. Kimberly, we don't ever have to do any work over there because they're awesome members just do it themselves. And you are definitely one of those, which is amazing. Could you use sticker paper for this project too? Sure. You can absolutely use sticker paper. The only thing about sticker paper is that it's much, 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 much thicker than this uh, printable vinyl. Because we have Cricut brand uh, sticker paper and it's way thicker. It's like on a... It's like a cardstock sticker, okay? And it would take a lot more coats to seal it really well. Uh, whereas this is so thin, it's not gonna take near as many coats to seal that. That is a great question though. With printable HTV, do you still have to mirror it when cutting? It depends on the brand. That's a great question. Uh, so the brand, the brand that I love, New Fun, you do not have to mirror it. But there's a great brand that is the same brand as the glitter, Starcraft. They do have an amazing brand as well. And that that brand of printable HTV is incredible. It looks like it's not even there. Like it's crazy. I need to do a project on it to show you guys. But that one you do have to mirror. So it definitely just depends on the... Um, the uh, brand of it. Some you do, some you don't though. Rachel, you really make me laugh out loud. Michelle, Tanner says that I just tell it like it is. And I'm telling you, sometimes I honestly don't mean to, but <laughs> I, I'm i glad I can make you laugh. That is, that's great. We're, 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 we're real here, you know? We are real here, we are. And I mean, it, we've said it several times, we're not on any contract for anything. Like we don't really have a contract with Cricket or this or that or anything. So we're free to say and do whatever we want to. So we're able to give you guys our 100% honest opinions about just about anything that you ask us, which is a really rare thing in the die cutting world, if I'm being completely transparent. So uh, being able to just kind of say what I'm feeling and say uh, what our company feels and how we, um, uh, I don't know, all of our opinions and stuff. It's really cool. So we love doing that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Sherry, uh, email customer service if you have any specific questions for us. We would absolutely love to help you. Our customer service team is 10 out of 10. Uh, Georgie, do we put glitter on the bottom? Do we put glitter on the bottom of the mug? Good question. If you want to. I mean, I personally don't really see a point in sticking it all the way under there. But if you want to and you want to like put Mod Podge on it, then let it cure like that. Feel free if that's what you want to do. I mean, it's totally your choice. And look, I just got glitter everywhere. I'm telling you. this. I'm going to be fighting it forever, guys. But it's totally your choice. Uh, that's a great question, though. But to each their own. It's totally what you want to do. Um, but do, 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 let me see. Mm -hmm. 
Juan said, sorry, I just signed on question. Can existing members, existing members join yearly to new yearly rate if already yearly member? Wanda, yes, yes. Joseph, in those links, there's a link underneath there that says already existing member. Copy and paste that for Miss Wanda. Wanda, here's the link that you need to click, my dear. This will allow you to go straight to where you need to go to get locked in as a yearly member. And what'll happen is this membership uh, cycle that you're on right now will go until it's supposed to expire. So like your membership um, anniversary. And then it will charge you and then you'll be grandfathered into this price. So you will, it'll like overlap for you. So you can absolutely do that. Go ahead and get locked into that price and you will get grandfathered in on it, which is amazing. But guys, today's the last day to do that. So get your $40 off. Use the code best at checkout and get locked into $40 off of this amazing membership with so much that we've got to offer. So yes, do it. Uh, Tracy, on the shadow box projects, did you mirror the vinyl to out inside the box. I think she might have said go. Here's the thing, Tracy. When you mirror vinyl and put it on the inside of glass, uh, or like the, if you want something to show on the outside of a window and you put it on the inside of a window, the problem with vinyl is that it, it's bubbly so much on the bottom. And you don't think it is, honestly. It looks smooth on the top because it is matte, okay? It is completely different. But whenever you stick that uh, whenever you mirror it and stick it on the back of glass and you're trying to look at it while it's mirrored, it looks all bubbly, especially dark colors. So like black and things like that, it, especially black, black and dark gray and navy blue and things like that, it looks terrible. You can see the bubbles and it is not a good look. So we just laid it on the outside of the glass and um, that's also what we did because we filled the inside with like jingle bells and things like that. So it just made it easier for us. And also you can just remove that uh, after the season if you wanted to. And that way uh, you can just um, reuse that. So yeah, that's definitely what we did. Um, okay, well. I think you're caught up. <laughs> I think I'm caught up. I'm going to take a deep breath. You guys have asked some amazing questions today. I hope you enjoyed our little fast, fun print and cut project. And guys, look how many little hedgehogs I still have left. They are absolutely adorable. I can put those on so many things. A print and cut is amazing for a ton of different things and I hope that you all have a little bit more of an understanding about them now. Don't forget to check out our other videos. We are here all the time. And then be sure to grab your membership for $40 off uh, today is the last day. Uh, Kimberly, so I did the 40% off in November and I think I think, and I did my initial in June, so they are overlapping. Do I need to call customer service come June to cancel that one? Kimberly, do contact customer service. Yes, ma'am. Just let them know what's going on and they will be able to answer you better than I could. I just don't want to tell you anything wrong. Um, so definitely just email them, let them know what's going on. Of course, they'll get back to you as uh, quickly as they can. Thank you so much for being so kind and considerate. And well, guys. We're done. I gotta be honest, it's a really crappy day here in Morristown. It's dark, it is uh, 48 degrees, and it's rainy and wet. It's been raining all night long. And all day yesterday. Really. And all day yesterday, yeah, it's, it's been it's like been, spitting. Uh, it's been ugly. It's been ugly, Joseph said. Yeah. It's not just a crappy day, it's ugly. an ugly day. So Joseph has gotta go to work, and then I'm just gonna continue working here for you guys. So I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day. Joseph, how are you? I'm doing great. Good. He <laughs> ate a sausage biscuit earlier. I love. I, I wanted something good this morning, so that's why I'm with me. He wanted good. something good this morning, so we went to McDonald's. <laughs> they got me a sausage biscuit. When I want something good, I go to Chick Fil A or Bojangles. Well, that's all the other in the town. No, I'll probably want to go to Chick Fil A for lunch. God love. Because I want something good for lunch too. He wants something good for lunch too. Hey, Chick Fil A is great. I love Chick Fil A. Have you had their mac and cheese lately? Not lately. Oh, it's the bomb. I've only had it once. Oh, I had it once a long time ago. It, it was better the so second time. They charge extra for it, so I'm like, uh, They do? They Worth it. I give them like $2 extra for it. It's so good, guys. <laughs> See, and they all... pack them little things full. They're like a little container. Honey, they pack that mac and cheese in. It weighs <laughs> like a pound. I would pay money for that. It's good. <laughs> well, I was saying, a meal's already like 10 bucks from there, so I'm like, uh, It's worth it, Joe. Uh, I, 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 I love me some waffle fries and Chick fil A sauce. Okay, that's good. Did Tanner get you on there or did you get Tanner on it? Who taught who that? Uh, see, I normally put them in barbecue sauce. Okay. And then Tanner got me on Chick-fil-A sauce, so now I have to put in Chick-fil-A. Well, if you guys didn't know, Chick-fil-A sauce is ranch, honey mustard, and a little bit of 
Barbecue. Barbecue, yeah. It's barbecue, honey mustard, and ranch all mixed together. So it, it's all, it's it's a ton of good stuff. <gasps> Megan has never had Chick-fil-A. Oh my gosh, Megan. That's like people never having pals, which if you don't know what pals is, yeah. just Google it because that's just, a, that's just it's, something. It's just that's, here, yeah. It's just over here. But pals... It's, it's called Pal Sudden Service. It's just a burger joint. The outside of the of all the Pal's restaurants, and it's not a restaurant, it's a drive through because that's all, like, you, there's no they have, seating. They have one restaurant. Do they? That's the, funny. The one in Greenville, you can do that and sit down. Really? Yeah. Well, on the outside, it's like a gigantic cheeseburger, a giant hot dog french fries. Like, it's the coolest thing. It's so funny. Like if the, you don't, the building is a hot dog and a hamburger. Yeah, like that. That's what the building is. So yeah. if you've never had Pal's, Pal's is, it's like a, an incredible burger. It is so good. But anyways, guys. My husband and daughter work at Chick-fil-A. Ugh. Ugh. Did you watch the Vols last night? Margie, I did not. I did not. I was tired last night. I went to bed at like 8.30. I went to bed really early. I was pooped. You had me beat by half an hour. Well, I'm ashamed. Well, I actually, me and Becca, it was so funny. Me and Becca removed all the Christmas decor from Tanner's house last night. Or last night. <laughs> yesterday. And I'm telling you what, running up and down these steps to put it all in the basement... Just got me, got me just absolutely worn out. So I was tired. You should have called me. I would just packed my truck in the front yard just to the bathroom. And Becca was going to, but it was raining and I was like, oh, ugh. Right. So we just, I, I just kept you. hauling my butt down these stairs. I got you. But anyways, guys, I will let you guys go. I know there's much better <laughs> things you can do with your day than listen to us jabber. Use that 40% off coupon, guys. $40 off coupon. I've said that twice today. Um, it equals out to be an amazing deal for you guys, which in my mind, the yearly membership is already an amazing deal, which you pay the least amount of money for the most amount of our resources. So go use that code BEST, B-E-S-T, to get $40 off of your awesome yearly membership. And until then, guys, I will see you next time. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Tanner, Blake, and Courtney are on their way back from, um... Florida today. They are, won't be here till like 10 or 11 tonight. So pray for them. Pray for safe travels for them to all get back to us safely here in Tennessee. We need them. So definitely pray for that, guys. But okay. I love you all. Please have a wonderful, crafty rest of your day. Bye, guys.